What's up guys, it's Stealth here and we are back in Metal Gear Solid 3. Isn't this a lovely scene around us? Just a bunch of animals, waterfalls, and... Ah, isn't just life grand. Hi, Keraton. We gotta meet up with Eva at the end of this waterfall, so let's go do that. That stamina's actually pretty good. I wasn't sleeping for that long. Come oh, no. on, get up there, buddy. I'm just surprised that my body floated all the way through uh, this shallow stuff. Ooh, crab. I can't reach it. Come on. Thank you. I like the fork. Very convenient. Take this. Oh, full on that. That's good. I don't want to be uh, needing to use those items anytime soon, actually. Fish in there. Let's go right on through here. Nice to meet you, Snake. I'm Tatiana. Here's your equipment. Eva, you could use a towel. So could you. I didn't think I was going to get a save that quickly. I could have kept going. Whoops. Um. Sure, new file. Why not? Well, it was only like two minutes, two or three minutes at most. But for the heck of it, we'll just say there you go. Perfect. Want some? No, thanks. <clears throat> Don't like snakes? Not for dinner. Mm. Didn't you have to eat them at the KGB? In my training, we always got the good stuff. French, Italian, that kind of thing. A regular Matahari. The least you could do is call me Cynthia. Tell me something. How does it feel to spy on your own country? I can't say it feels good, but it's my job. Can't even eat a snake during a mission, huh? I wouldn't mind eating you. When this mission's over, you'll have to treat me to a nice dinner. What do you want to eat? Let's see. How about sushi? Sushi? It's Japanese. I hear it's all the rage right now. Supposedly, it's made from raw fish. Raw fish? Just the place for my survival techniques. <laughs> Oh. 
darkness and silence through the night. Snake. Thank you, Snake. What a I'll be your eyes from now on. I'm searching and I'm melting to you. <laughs> what a fear in my heart. But you're so Don't worry about it. Are you all right? It's not like I can't see. I've got one good eye and can still fire a gun. Really? Good. Eva. Didn't you steal some explosives out of the fortress? C3, a highly potent explosive from the West. It can be molded into any shape, like clay. With just this much, you could blow up the Shagohat and the lab along with it. Is that right? Yeah, but there's a trick to using it. Tell me about it. Well, what do you think? The Shagohod's booster unit uses liquid fuel. The fuel tanks are in the main wing of the weapons lab in the hangar housing the Shagohod itself. So I should blow up the tanks? That's the basic idea. It should be enough to blow up the entire hangar. There are four fuel tanks. In order to destroy the hangar, you'll have to set explosives on each of those tanks. All four of them? It should be no sweat for you. Besides, the scientists had the day off today. So the hangar's completely deserted? Not quite. They've still got guards posted there. So what do I do after I set the C3? The bombs run off a timer. Once the timer has been set, the countdown will begin. When the timer reaches zero, the bombs will all go off at once. How long do I have? 20 minutes. Once the phase two trials are finished, I wouldn't be surprised if they kill all the scientists to prevent them from talking. So you've got to act fast. I'll take care of it. Eva, did you get the data on the Shagohod from Sokolov? Yeah, that's the mission I was given. By Khrushchev? Mm-hmm. America doesn't have any use for it, does it? Huh. But I haven't forgotten my other mission, either. Helping you out. <laughs> Follow this cave and go up the ladder at the end. You'll come out inside Groznygrad, just southwest of the weapons lab. Do you remember when you went to rescue Sokolov? Remember there was a locked door when you entered the main wing from the second floor of the east wing? Yeah. That's the entrance to the Shagohod's hangar. Use this key to open that door. The door right when I entered the main wing? Got it. What about you? I'll get things ready for our escape. There's a rail bridge to the north. I'm gonna set a bomb there, so I'm taking half of the C3 with me. Right. I'll set off the weapons lab then. Try not to be in the neighborhood when it happens. Gotcha. And watch out for Ocelot. He suspects you're not who you say you are. Don't worry. The Colonel still trusts me. And I have my ways. There's not a man alive who can resist my charms. Uh, Besides you, of course. I'm just warning you, Eva. That's all. I know. Okay, let's go. You seem like you were born on one of those. 
If I didn't ride every day, I couldn't go on living. Huh? When I'm riding, the wind hits me so hard that it hurts. That pain keeps my mind off the pain of having to be someone else. It's not easy always fooling myself like this. It's only when I'm on the bike that I'm free to be the real me. I only get off my bike when I fall in love or fall dead. What's your name? Tatiana. No. Your real name. <laughs> What's wrong with Tanya? Huh. Okay, Tanya. Don't let anyone see you. Huh? Oh, this? It's a button camera. What did you do that for? Insurance. To make sure you don't double cross me. Hey. What? You're gonna get wet again. It should not be physically possible to do those kind of things with a bike. It's insane. Full on that medicine. Mark 22 suppressor, which is perfect. We are donning our old tiger stripe uniform again. Is this a M1911? Yeah, it is. Giving us all the vital gear we need. Because we're kind of out of food, actually. Like, it's all gone. We got ration, noodles. Let's, fi let's fix our, our backpack. Don't need this. Or that. We can keep this. No. This. That. Um. No. 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 This. Um. There we go. It was taking a while. Yes. No. No. I'll take these. I'll keep the cardboard box. Actually, let's change our uniform because we're actually going to need to be in splitter anyway when we get back up to the compound. So let's just do that right now. Okay. Good. On the road again. I need this. Rats. Frogs. Sweet. Ooh, mushrooms. I need those. Actually, let's, t let's call about frogs. Shall we? Yeah, let's call paramedic. I see you've caught a tree frog. The tree frog is a green frog that's found throughout Asia. It's arboreal, spending most of its time in shrubs and bushes. Use the tranquilizer gun to catch one alive. I bet you could scare an enemy good if you toss one at him. But the tree frogs that live in that jungle are a lot bigger than ordinary tree frogs. They've got an appetite, huh? You've got a one-track mind, don't you? But seriously, that is one theory. However, there are people who think it's a mutation caused by nuclear testing and waste from the research facility. Yeah, I ate one, but it didn't taste that great. Is that all you ever think about? What else is there? Lots. Like what? Like why a frog would get so big in the first place. Whether it's a temporary phenomenon created by a unique environment or a permanent mark of evolution, or a product of the toxic waste coming out of the research facility. If it is the waste that's causing it, then it means humans are interfering with the ecosystem. It really makes you think about the changing relationship between- This isn't interesting. Oh, fine. Be that way. Wow, Snake, that was rude. And apparently frogs are not good. The rats are fine, though. So maybe I'll just toss the rat, the frogs. Dispose, dispose, dispose. 
Rats, glow caps. Yeah, this works. Ooh, the third cardboard box we need. Yay, ration. It's about freaking time, to be honest with you. Well, we're not going back that way. And now these guys are on alert because we escaped last time. See, look at them all. This is just crawl around. I really don't want to deal with them all. There's dogs around too, I know that much. Let's just go through here. Now these guys, I think, are running drills out here, if I remember right. Oh, wait, we need to actually go up. Let's just look around, make sure okay, he can't see us there. there doesn't seem to be anybody here. Alright, this is where we want to be. Move. Yep, drills. Look at that. I think I saw some. No, you didn't. Go away. I don't want to deal with it. Is this using my last... Suppressor? It is. Perfect. It's kind of what I wanted to happen. Knock him out. Give me this. That. Okay, I can sneak by here. I can just snipe this dude. Get up here, man. Come, let's go. Grenades are full. I don't feel like risking it to go out there and see what they have. I I could don my scientist uniform and sneak in, but that's I'm just too lazy today. I'm not gonna do it. It's not happening. I'm just gonna be more content to knock everybody out. Who's that? Yeah, maybe I should have done my uniform. Whoops. You know what? There's a trick I haven't tried yet. Hmm. This should work. Maybe. You can't see me from there. He can. 
You know what? Screw it. This is happening. Yeah, realistically, I should have done my scientist uniform, but I didn't. I don't know why I didn't do that. How did you hear that? Seriously, how did you hear that? Well, I think everyone's knocked out. Oh, that's not him. Come on. And here's the sneaking suit, which is totally the opposite of what I've been doing this whole time I've been in here. Rations are still here, which is good. I'm just going to raid these lockers, see what I can get. Maintenance uniform, also good. If I want to disguise myself in there, which I'm not. Probably another ration in here. I, for, I don't remember where these things are. are you kidding me? Come on. There it is. Gather as many of these bad boys up as I can right now. And this. Perfect. Let's change your camo. Yay. Look at this thing. It's fantastic. It's a great suit. Ah, oh, dang it. I forgot to turn off notifications. Snake, I see you've managed to sneak into the hangar. Yeah, the Shagahod's in here. The completed Phase II Shagahod represents a grave threat to the West. We can't allow it to be mass-produced. You've got to destroy it. Eva's got the data on the Shagahod. Do you think that's safe? Well, I wouldn't exactly say it's safe, but Khrushchev is a shrewd leader. I can't imagine he'd use it for anything other than deterrence. Volgin, however, is a different story. He's planning to use the Shagahod to turn the Cold War into a blazing hot one. We can't let him have it. Agreed. That leaves just one more mission for you to carry out. The boss. Exactly. Uh. For now, just focus on destroying the Shagahod. Yes, sir. I'll let Sigint fill you in on how to destroy it. Yo! Like Eva was saying, if you're looking to blow the whole place sky high, the best way is to take out those liquid fuel tanks with the C3. You know there's four tanks in there, right? You have to put C3 on all four of them. To plan a C3 charge, all you gotta do is equip the C3 and press the weapon button while standing in front of a tank. Just like TNT. But uh, make sure you don't plant it in the wrong place. You barely got enough C3 as it is, right? Good point. I'll make sure not to plant it anywhere else. Good, man. And be careful. Liquid fuel has a nasty habit of going off at the slightest shock. So don't go using any heavy firepower near the tanks unless you're aiming to get yourself barbecued. I'll keep that in mind. The C3 charges all have to go off at once if you want to bring down the hangar in one fell swoop. So if I were you, I'd wait until after you plant the last charge to start the timer mechanism. All right. I'll make sure I finish planting all four charges before I start the timer. Once the timer's set, you've got 20 minutes until it explodes, right? So make sure you get your ass out of that place by then. I think that's about all I've got. The rest is up to you. Good luck, pal. We're counting on you, Snake. Indeed, you all are. 
But we're going to have to take care of that in the next video. That's all the time I got for today. So when we come back, it's time to plant some bombs and blow this thing to smithereens. See you in the next video, guys.